Many things you can do uh, using subqueries, you can also do with joins. I just want to compare the two results here in a single video. Let's uh, select splat from customers. Uh, let's see, join orders. Oh, and remember, we're, we're trying to find the customers who haven't ordered anything. So we'll do a left join. I could say outer if I want, but I generally just say left join. Uh, C.customer. ID equals O dot customer ID and I wonder what's what's the problem here? C uh, as C of course I forgot my on right here. So on the customer ID, run it and uh, remember remember the left join is going to insert nulls. If I bring this down, it inserts nulls for the uh, customers that don't have any orders. So we have to do the where. Again, where o dot customer ID is null. Run that. Okay, now we have the two. So, so this approach uses a subquery, whereas this approach uses a join. Notice with the join, we're putting two tables side by side. Thus, we get the columns from both tables. Whereas with the subquery, I only get the columns from the one. In the end, though, I'm really only interested in the contact name or the company name of both. So. The, the fact that the join puts one puts them side by side, whereas the subquery doesn't doesn't probably doesn't make a whole difference here. What does matter is say I want to select a contact name, and uh, I think it's like ship country. Well, ship country comes from the orders table, but I can't say ship country here. If I could spell it right, I can't say ship country here because because we're selecting from customers. Whereas here we're selecting from customers joined with the orders. Customers doesn't have a ship country column. So anyway, ship country doesn't work because we're instead we're using the orders as a subquery. Both approaches work. I tend to favor the subquery approach simply because it makes more sense to me or I can read it. Uh, select contact name from customers where their customer ID is not in the list of customers who have made orders. Whereas this one's saying select customers joined with the orders where the customer ID is null and, and there's not really the meaning of the query to me as I read that. But that's that's certainly a personal preference.